little nervous. Ano ba yan? Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming today. I'm Daichi Hasegawa from Meiji, and I would like to tell you about what I learned during my study abroad in the Philippines. First, I'd like to talk about the lessons I learned from my classes here in Edinburgh. During this program, I have six different classes. I have social club, field work, chatterbox, oral communication, accent training, and college sit in. In social club, I received numerous opportunities to learn not only from my teachers, but also from my peers. I was enlightened with ideas I didn't have thought of if I was studying alone. For example, I, a view from a different angle. When we see something, we always look at it from a biased perspective. But thanks to social club, I was able to hear the different opinions of my classmates which taught me that the scrutiny issue can always be approached from more than one angle. Fieldwork gave me, gave me the courage to approach and ask help from people, all the more strangers. Fortunately, I was able to conduct my interviews without being rejected by anyone. Before I began my interview, I felt slightly nervous because the likelihood of being rejected is high. But then, I thought of the sentence, don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Despite my strong feeling of hesitance, these words gave me the courage to proceed with my interview. This made me realize that sometimes doing something is not as scary as I make it out to be. Through Chatterbox, I was encouraged to think about topics I don't normally put on. It challenged me, especially when I was unaware of the topic at hand. This allowed me to think on my feet and to quickly come up with responses. Being faced with all these unfamiliar topics also taught me not to be afraid to ask for qualifications when I don't understand something. In oral communication, I learned conversational English. It was a group class, so there were numerous occasions to work with my peers. Here, I learned the importance of cooperation in our daily lives, especially when it comes to achieving a goal amongst a group of people. Working with my peers also helped me expand my vocabulary and boost my confidence. In accent training, I learned how to appropriately pronounce words, how to distinguish different accents, and how changing the pronunciation of a word. For even the slightest bit can change its meaning. It taught me how to take my time when learning something new, and to try my best to understand the meaning of all the different words I learned. It also taught me how to express emotions through the way I read. In college sitting, I was encouraged to apply my newly formed English skills in a college setting, where we interacted not only with the Japanese students, but also students from different countries. Apart from all the lessons I learned in school, it also learned a lot about the Philippines and the Filipino culture. I was amazed to see the love Filipinos have for their own language while at the same time possessing impressive English skills. I observed this as I encountered numerous people in the mall, which is one of the many ways Filipinos spend their leisure time. I also learned how to avoid various modes of transportation, such as Japanese and Ancas. <laughs> <laughs> These were enjoyable experiences as we don't have them in Japan. 
I encountered many street children during my commute, which made me realize how comfortable my life actually is. I appreciate the prices of items in the Philippines, as they were way cheaper than the ones in Japan. I especially enjoyed the buy one, take one deals. <laughs> another, another part of the Filipino culture that I treasure is the wonderful food in this country. My favorite out of everything I've tried is pork fatigue. I like how it was the right amount of saltiness and spiciness. I also tried adobo, chicken fatigue, sunset, blue beer, and balot. <laughs> of course, I made sure to visit Jollibee and try their chicken, spaghetti, and hamburger. Apart from enjoying the delicious taste of daily food, I learned, that I learned the importance of sharing food among the Filipinos. This made every meal all the more enjoyable. Lastly, being in the Philippines allowed me to observe the kind of people Philippines are. Filipinos are warm and kind people. They always greet and respond to me happily. I enjoyed negotiation, negotiating for the taxi fare with taxi drivers. Even if not all of them accepted my bargain. <laughs> it was all okay because a majority of the people I spoke to always faced me with a smile. This made me feel welcomed and accepted. However, a lot of Filipinos surprisingly got my nationality wrong. <laughs> they always guessed that I was either Chinese, Korean, or Taiwanese. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, never Japanese. <laughs> Nevertheless, I like Filipinos and will never forget all my encounters with them. With them. These are just some of the lessons I learned during my stay in this beautiful country. And there are definitely many more, perhaps even too many to this time. Six weeks ago, I came here scared and unsure, unsure of what would happen to me during my stay here. But on Saturday, I know I will be returning to Japan knowing so much more, not only about English, but also about all the wonderful life lessons I will forever carry with me. I would like to thank everyone who helped me during my journey. I couldn't have, I couldn't have done all of this without you. I can only hope to give back as much as you have given me during my stay here. To my fellow classmates, I hope you have grown as much as I have during my stay here, and may we continue learning even as we head back to Japan. Congratulations to all of us on graduating. And may we never forget all the wonderful memories. And finally, uh, look at me and, and look at especially my eyes. Are you ready? Uh, uh, listen to what I will say. Taguchi Mininka Akinka. I don't know! Taguchi Mininka Akinka. Taguchi Mininka Akinka. Taguchi Mininka Akinka. Taguchi Mininka Akinka.